Hey guys, James with TFB TV. I've got a slight tingling, burning sensation because I'm standing in the Kimber booth, a manufacturer known for making 1911s, bolt actions, revolvers. You can see smoke coming yeah, off the yeah, top yeah, of yeah. it. Ah, it burns. <laughs> um, but I, I have, there's a cooling sensation anytime I get near the Evo 9. You guys remember I had a Kimber solo that, you know, Rachel and I talked about it, my new best friend Rachel at Kimber where I was not a fan of the original solo. But then you guys did the Evo 9, you said, hey James, try this out, we think you're really gonna like it, and I did. You guys can look up that review if you're interested. It seems like you guys have been having success with this line. I like it because it's striker fired. It's not like a 1911, like most of your carry guns, like the Micro mm -hmm, 9. Mm -hmm. So I think it's cool. And you guys are expanding the line and I guess, and making it more affordable, am I right? Yeah, so um, besides the fact that it was released last year and people loved it, um, one of the things that we did want to do was, we did want to say, hey, we want to, make sure that there's an option for people who are not necessarily ready to go all in, right? So um, we're known for packing our guns with tons of features, uh, whether it's under trigger guard checkering, whether it's ambi safeties, whether it's nice grips, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so when we came out with that Evo SP, we were following right along with that track. And uh, one of the things that that does though, is it does add to our costs. So then we kind of have to get to a point where there's a price point that may not work for everyone. However, um, now that we have the line inbound and, and everybody's loving it, uh, one of the next things that we had to tackle was just making sure that we could get an Evo SP out there that had everything you needed and nothing you didn't for those that were just just clamoring to get right. one in there safe. Um, if you have a chance to shoot an Evo SB, which you have, mm -hmm. you know, now that we're best friends. Yes. Uh, did we just become best friends? Yeah. <laughs> I um, love it. I love movie but, references yeah. and shot show videos. But it's it's one of those things where it's such a fun gun to shoot despite its small size. If you shoot a lot, you know small guns can sometimes be a pain in the butt, but these guys are an MSRP of $599. Our lowest one, I think, was hovering right around eight last year. And that one came with all three sizes of the grip system that we have. Um, but these guys are at $599. So again, MSRP, whatever your dealer wants to do from that point on, up to them. I'm genuinely um, surprised because remember, yeah. I didn't ask you before we started recording. I had no idea how yeah, much these Yeah, so these are, um, these are ready to go. They've got ledge sights. These are white dot sights. Um, they still feature the FNC finish mm. on the barrel and the slide, so you're not losing out on a premium level heavy duty finish. Um, they come in a silver, a stainless, uh, or a black. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that is super cool about the Evo SP is that there's no hardware on the face of these grips. Um, and so we carried that over into these guys as well. Uh, they don't have any of that going on. Same deal, the whole toolkit you need mm -hmm. to switch these out, the whole like expertise you need is a simple hex wrench locked at a quarter of an inch. That's pretty cool. And then pop on whichever palm swell or back strap size you want. You got options. Um, these ship with black nylon grips. Mm -hmm. Again, what we're doing is trying to make sure you want to get one of these in your holster, in your safe. I know, and, and you keep making these precautionary statements, yeah. and it's like, I don't care. Like, nylon yeah. grips are fine like, for me. Like, it's cool. And right. one, of the, one of the sweet things you could do, and, uh, you know, I can't really get heavy into it, is, but it is nylon, so, you know, I know there's a culture of stippling out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, mm -hmm. those guys. You no know? chill on those. So, yeah. but here's the cool thing. <laughs> if you screw up a pair of black nylon grips. Right. I mean, it's going to cost go back you. And yeah, get yeah. another panel. Yeah. Like, it's a pretty simple process. You can grab them from our e-com store. Um, these guys ship with uh, their same seven and one magazine. Um, they are everything you need and nothing you don't. Mm -hmm. These are steel sights. Um, not to kind of jump back to these, but um, I know that we hear a lot about like plastic sights going on guns. Um, that nobody has time for that. So again, what we were looking for is just making sure that we got our carry people covered on our Evo SPs, and uh, we're just big fans of these guns, and we're so happy that you know people are excited about these guns as well. Yeah, I mean, and I'm willing to you know kind of cross the line and come over into Kimber territory if you guys are willing. You know, and I like that. I like you're reaching out to a new consumer base. Sure. sure. Bullet point list. If I want to get one of these more accessible. 
Evo 9s, the bullet points on the differences between like your flagship version and the new version. Sure. Okay. So well, number one across the board, if I didn't mention it before, these are a striker fired gun. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, we were talking about a hammer fired gun before. These are striker. Um, they all carry a cock striker indicator on the, right. on the rear of the gun. Um, they will all carry the FNC finishing mm -hmm. on the barrel and the slide. Mm -hmm. um, some of our premium side will feature a Kempro finish on the mm -hmm. frame. Uh, but they're all an aluminum frame gun. Right, so it doesn't really matter. You know, it's not going to rust. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, And you're also dealing with a, not a huge weight difference from right. guns that are in that same size envelope. We're talking about maybe an ounce or two. So uh, we're not right. dealing with, okay, it's a metal gun. It's going to be a nightmare to carry mm -hmm. or it's going to you know, mess with me in some way. Um, so uh, another kind of thing that you will see on our uh, previous and initial release was uh, we had day-night sights on all of those guns, mm -hmm. ledged steel day-night sights. Uh, those are not on these guns. Uh, it doesn't mean that you can't go back and install right. them. You know? Right. Uh, again, sights are very personal. Sure. So I get it. I mean, some um, people want to jump in and then add sights later. Exactly, exactly. Other features that you're going to find on those main, those initial release guns, are going to be front strap textures, whether it's checkering or our stiplex texture, which is fantastic. Um, you'll find that on our CS model. The front strap checkering will be on that CDP, the TLE, and the two-tone, I believe, also carries that front strap checkering. And now all of our other um, initial four release guns do come with two magazines. Uh, so again, the desire is for people to be able to carry these and, and just being able to rock and roll. Like, go out, get to the range, train it, get to know the gun, make your decision. Save a few bucks. Line. On yeah. like over the standard price, the standard exactly. Evo, yeah, use it on yeah, ammo, yeah. hit so the those, range. Yeah, and, and again, so like that's what these, their job is that, um, listen, there's a lot of us that have been at it for a while. We've got our particular desires. <laughs> so there's a lot of us that have been at this for a little while. We have our particular set of things that we look for that we want. We don't want anything else. So that's when what I think of Kimber, I'm not thinking accessibility. You know, like, but and so sure. it's funny that this is kind of attack you're taking is to make things more accessible. Sure. Guys, that's a wrap from the Kimber booth. We're going to bring you more from Shot Show 2020.